She's smart. She's invincible. She's the Burka Avenger. Gia, a mild-mannered school teacher during the day, turns into a flying ninja-like masked heroine at night, taking on the forces of evil. This action-packed kids cartoon is the brainchild of Pakistani pop star Haroon Rashid. Each episode touches on various uh, social issues that we face in Pakistan, uh, such as child labor, discrimination, um, superstition, the importance of reading, girls' education, and uh, so the idea was that we wanted to, to entertain, make people laugh, yet at the same time, this is a great opportunity to, to give out positive social messages to children. So that's one of the ideas. Set to rollicking Pakistani pop music, Burka Avengers offers children who have grown up on imported cartoons their first chance to recognize the characters as their own. Heroin Gia speaks Urdu, wears traditional baggy pants and tunic, and slips into a black burqa that serves as a mask and cape to battle the bad guys. There has been criticism that the heroine comes to the rescue in a burqa, seen by some as a symbol of oppression. Wardar Noor shrugs that off. It's a woman who's wearing a burqa and fighting crime. Why not? It's a good thing, about a good image of the burqa that's going out. There is no mention of the Taliban, but along with his henchman, Baba Banduk is a bad guy with a beard who in one episode wants to shut down schools that teach girls. In another, he uses a flamethrower to burn down kites. Gia fights them off with books and pens. Teenager Mariam Akram and her younger brother loved it. When she was fighting, it was really nice because uh, pens and books are the best fr friend of a man. So it was really nice watching her fighting with these things. Launched this August, the TV series already has an iPhone app, music videos, and is hot on social media. The success of the first screening surprised the 35-member team that put Burka Avenger together, including writer Adil Abdullah. It was uh, phenomenal. And uh, it was more disbelief than uh, excitement because uh, it could not have been me. And I kept thinking that maybe somebody else wrote it, somebody else did it. Couldn't have been us. I mean, it was just unfathomable that this is a possibility. And uh, but I'm glad we did. The team is working on launching the cartoon for an international audience and have already dubbed the first episode in English. Watch out, world. The lady in black is on the attack. Sharon Bain, VOA News, Islamabad.